Judge, uh, we're not going to call any more witnesses, so uh, we can go ahead and put on the record now, or I'll go ahead and put on the record now uh, that we are going to, that Mr. Harris is going to waive his right to testify. Um, we've been representing Ross um, since right after his arrest, uh, so we've had a, an over two-year relationship. Uh, during the course of our um, representation, uh, we certainly have had the opportunity to discuss uh, with him the fact that he has the right, constitutional right, to testify. So he's not aware of it just because we're, we're in trial the last couple of weeks. He's aware of it because it's conversations that we've had over an extended period of time. I'm confident, I'm comfortable that he understands <coughs> that he has that right. Um, he also understands that... Um, the right is his to make the decision whether or not he's going to testify or not. Um, we've explained to him the difference between the strategic decisions that the lawyers make throughout the course of the litigation and throughout the course of the trial, such as which witnesses to call, etc. He understands that this right is different, that it's personal to him, and only he can make that decision. Um, I want to put on the record that we actually had a meeting with Ross this past weekend at the jail uh, where we, we met to speak specifically about this subject uh, and again advised him of what he already knew, that he, that he has the right to either testify or not testify, that the right is personal to him, that we do not make that decision that he does. We had a discussion concerning the fact that this is his one and only trial. There won't be a do-over for him to, you know, make the decision differently at another point in time. I'm, I'm confident that he understands that. Um, I, I know this has been a longer trial than what we usually have, and so the court, I'm sure, wants to be uh, particularly clear on this matter for the record. I don't think I can make it any clearer. He's aware of his right. He wants to waive it. He, he does not want to testify in the trial of this case. Of interest in the court. Uh, what estimate would you give all together of how much time you all have um, uh, spent in discussion of this particular topic? Just a guesstimate. I oh, over the, over the course of the last two mm -hmm. plus years, mm -hmm. um, many hours, I, I would say certainly we've discussed it. I, I wouldn't be surprised if it probably were 10 hours discussing just this issue.
Have you had adequate information from them and whatever other sources you may have? Yes, ma'am. Have you thoroughly uh, vetted the decision with your attorneys? Yes, ma'am, I have. Have you thought about it yourself personally and, 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 and internally um, had adequate time to consider your options and consider your decision? Yes, ma'am, I have. It's been told, it's been stated to me that you would like not to testify at this time. That is correct, yes, ma'am. And uh, is that, was that your opinion and what you wanted to do when it was stated to the court? Yes, ma'am. Is it still your opinion? Yes, ma'am. Do you need any further time or any further opportunity to consider this? No, ma'am, I don't. So you're satisfied with the decision um, that it's made and it's final and you're ready to move forward? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Have a seat. Thank you. What will you be doing next? We'll rest in front of the jury. Bring the jury in. Judge, before before we do that, I'm sorry, if I may. Sorry. We uh, I've been alerted that um, the state intends to call a witness in rebuttal. Mm -hmm. I've been told that it's Detective Stockinger. Um, so I, I guess I would make the request at this time as to exactly what it is that the state intends to rebut. They put up 51 witnesses. Have so, you talked to them? Yes. Um, they have. They have advised me that it's going to be Detective Stockinger, mm -hmm. and that they are going to play a uh, recording. I assume it's a recording of Leanna Harris at the treehouse, uh, but I don't know exactly. Um, well, let me get back to my question. Have you you've talked to them? Mm -hmm. okay. Have y'all finished your conversation before you bring it to me? I thought we were finished with it, but I don't know that I asked that specific question.
with what you sell. On behalf of Ross, we rest our case. Thank you, Mr. Cobor. Will the state have evidence at this time? Judge, we have one rebuttal witness. I expect the direct of him, including the claim of reporting to last probably an hour, maybe a little bit less than that. We'll be ready to do that this afternoon. No, that was cross-examination. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, um, when we started the trial, I'll give you an overview. I said we would begin with opening statements, and then we would hear the evidence, then we would have... Um, Argument, and I would instruct you on the law, and you would deliberate. Um, you heard the opening statements. <coughs> the state presented its case. The state rested. The defense has presented its case. The defense has rested. Um, at this time, there can be additional evidence in the nature of what's called the law. <coughs> the state has indicated that they have that evidence uh, to offer this afternoon. Um, and they've indicated a time frame. So it is sensible for us to have lunch and come back and have evidence again this afternoon. I told y'all yesterday, I was hoping that we would have a, a full day, and, and so we are, we're making good use and good um, management of our time, and I think that's important. But there's no reason to get started, you know, for 10 minutes and then take a break. That doesn't make any sense either. So let's take a lunch recess. Uh, Ms. Risa says that it's almost ready. And uh, then we'll come back at 1 o'clock and we'll move back into our meetings. Close your notepads, open mind, no conversations. Just enjoy each other's company and have, have the lunch. Thank you all. Let's all rise up. Please watch your step going down. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.